What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most Tomboy Double and you're currently watching Tomboy TV. Welcome back and welcome back to another season of Retail Reselects Dimensions with your boy in the Hype Beast Loft. Welcome back. So if you guys haven't been watching my channel because you're only into Supreme, we'll be back at it. So today we're talking about Week Zero Supreme. This is only releasing in-store, by the way. Uh, online, it'll be releasing on Monday the 20 something hold up let me check real quick it'll be online the 25th the 25th will be online uh there's nothing else dropping that thursday but just this thursday's in store uh in store at new york it's bowery street you know new location from 274 lafayette it's been moved to bowery unfortunately i i mean fortunately enough i do have a time slot however unfortunately it is not at supreme it is at dsm you know i mean ah oh man i got pissed not gonna lie I mean, you should have seen my face when i saw the text today I was like, yo, oh, Supreme NYC text, bet, bet, bet. And I, as soon as I saw that it was a little late, it came out like 12, 14. I was like, yeah, it's DSM. Because like first uh, Lafay Lafayette one goes, well, now it's Bowery for this season. Then it comes DSM. So I got, uh, and that actually got spot numbers back this season. They got spot numbers back, which I like a lot. It's much more organized, easier. There's no cutting, no bullshit. Like they, cause normally they sometimes line up an hour before the time slot. Sometimes they line up an hour after the time slot. So it's easier with the actual just number. Uh, but other than that though, uh, I do got a time slot at three o'clock at 3 PM. Hopefully I'll be able to get my stuff. So the way I'm running this retail race estimation video, uh, this episode, you know, as I like to call it, I'll be updating a new one for next week on Monday after prices accumulate and go down a little bit, of course, because that's what happens. Uh, we're basically going to go through, not through every single item, because there's about like 60 freaking items dropping in week zero. And there's not, a, there's not like crazy, crazy hype ones, like must cops. I mean, for me, there is. For a lot of people out there, there isn't. Uh, but I'm going to basically run through the most hyped ones, the one that's most needed. But normally how I run this is least hyped to most hyped, at least resale to most resale, if you already know. But you know how I also do it. I got to make my three biggest announcements. If you guys are into the Discord, you guys already know. But if you're not, then you guys got to send me a screenshot. If you subscribe to this channel right down here, send it to my Instagram, at hype underscore NJ is the best one to send it to. And just send me a screenshot. I'll send you back the link with the Discord invite and you're in. And notice, if I'll, I'll put it right up here somewhere or right over here somewhere. My, the success in our group for in-store registration was crazy, bro. So I updated you guys on my Instagram that it went live early because that's what happened. It went live at 10 a.m. Eastern. I updated it on Instagram at Discord as well. And then I was like, yo, everyone signed up. People signed up. Dude, I, don't, I didn't see anybody in Discord after like 2 p.m. Everyone else is early. There's a spot 24. There's a spot 73. There's a spot at 10.45 a.m. But the thing is surprising, listen, there's a person at 10.45 a.m. with a 300 spot. That's not normal for Supreme. They normally don't have anywhere close to that many people at that time. So I'm assuming at Bowery, they have like five registers. It is, it's express. Maybe you end up taking the items yourself because normally when you do a go in store, by the way, this is also great advice. If you do go in store, make a list. Make a list of the items you want in the color, the size, everything. I'll number it down. Do all that because it's easier for them. You just got to give them the list. They appreciate that so much better. The Supreme workers, it's less of a headache instead of running back and forth. And most of the time, they will ask you for a list. At least that's how it was for the past season uh, for Fall Winter 18. But for SS 17, it was not like that. Or SS 18, it wasn't like that. And also today or last week marks the anniversary of the time I got spot number seven. Number seven in line. That's when my most viral video had like 25,000 views. Uh, I spent $3,800, but I spent like $4,500 in one weekend because I remember I didn't have school that weekend. But anyways, enough talking. I know I talk too much, but you guys, in order to get that good luck, that good karma, you also got to be subscribed. Like, that's just the way it goes. People will comment down on this video if it has actually helped you. You guys know if you've been with me since last season. That's just the way it be. And also, I do state my opinion in this video. Viewer discretion is advised. There sometimes I do make some comments that you may take offensive. Please don't. I don't mean to be like that. It's just my opinion, just the hell way I, I see it. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the hats. Now I will move over a bit. I will put the images right over here, but uh, for a lot of them I won't because they're just that shitty. So we do got the Mother FRT, the six panel, it's retailing for $48. Basically a brick. They do have a towel though in this font, in this design, as well as the upcoming t-shirt. So it'll be interesting to see how that comes out. Oh, uh, then that brings to the signature script logo cam cap, which you guys will see right over here. The pants in this version, the shorts, I definitely need of this design, bro. This design is sick. However, this week ain't going to be good for hats, mainly clothing and accessories and decks. So we're going to get into that later. Don't worry. We saved the most resellable items for the last. Retail for $48, as I said. 
Four different colorways. The best colorway to go for is black, but this is a brick. I wouldn't even focus on it unless you are going for the personal because that's always a great option as well because that's what Supreme really makes their items for. Uh, so then that brings us to the rigid slim jean, $158, a brick. Not going to go much into that. The tape seam pants, $218, dropping four different colorways, a blue, a brown, a black, and a pink. A big ass brick as well. Uh, World 5 panel is $44. It has that nice... This is a sick design, though. Don't get me wrong. This is a very dope design by Supreme. However, the issue is that they did not execute on it as well as they should have. Like, I think they should have made this a t-shirt instead or a hoodie or something like that. It would have been doper. But, you know, this is the World 5 panel. $44 retail camo is also the color of the season. If you guys remember, last season I said it was the purple was the color of the season. It's camo. It's Wilden camo this season, 1,000%. That's how it's going to be, I, I predict, I can tell right now. And also, they are bringing a lot of vintage uh, designs back, so that's also cool to see. We got the Patrick Bell hat for $58. I mean, you could pull up with the full jumpsuit. The pants are dropping this week of the patchwork items. Uh, the jacket is, I don't think it is either. We'll get through it, though. Uh, but if you want, you can pull up with the full fit, but I'm not a fan of this hat at all. Not my type of style, not my forte, as they say. Uh, we do got the washed regular jean for $148, dropping in a multitude of colors that are all going to be bricking. The fuzzy pile of shorts, just not in either $148 retail. Please don't buy this item. I know it's Supreme, and a lot of the new people out there think, oh, it's Supreme, I'll buy everything. Just don't do it. And also, be careful about resale, because a lot of these items are going to go down in price once they come out online. Once they come out in store, pfft. Price is going up, bro, and they're gonna stay up for like a second, then they plummeting down. So I learned that from the hard way from my own personal experience during week one of SSM SS18 when I spent too much money. Paint roll. The bigger the Supreme branding, the more hyped it's gonna be. The most like the most resell it is, but it depends as course as how well they design the piece as well. It's not like big Supreme branding. Oh, it's gonna do crazy numbers. That's just not how it goes. It also depends on the demand, the supply. Which is also a major, major issue for the season. The the supply is coming bigger. The supply is getting bigger for Supreme. It's unfortunate for a lot of the resellers out there, including myself. I do resell a bit. You know where to check me out at Tommy Taylor. You know what I'm about to say. Uh, so it is unfortunate, but you know that's just how it is. They're opening up more stores in Milan, Berlin, and San Francisco eventually. They were supposed to do that a while ago, but it still did not happen. Set in logo sweatpants. Set in, not say, not satin. Be careful. We got the $148 retail. Only color we have at the moment is the green one. Not hyped at all. Uh, but the design is sick. If they did it in white lettering, this this item will be going for crazy money. So that's why I'm thinking about making a custom. Then that brings us to the Oxford shirt. Ooh, do we have a little BOGO? We do got a little, little BOGO tab on it. Unfortunately, it's not an actual nice... If they had a nice little mini BOGO, it would have been dope to see. A little embroidered action. But it's $118 retail. You're going to be stuck with it for a while. Uh, piping track pants, not that hyped at all. It is actually water resistant though. Is that what I'm saying? It is water resistant nylon. Ooh, I thought I peeped some Gucci colorways on the black, but it's not that Gucci, bro. It's just green on black. If they had green, red, and black, you know that should be going for crazy amounts of money. And that's also something to keep in mind. Anything in like the Gucci colorway, red, black, or green, you can expect it to pretty good numbers. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this, but I know some people want to see these items. Some people don't. So I'm going to just run through them anyways. We got the fuzzy pile of trucker jacket. And somebody was telling me, yo, this is a low key going to be like the uh, Fox Fur Bomber jacket from exactly a year ago. Nah, this ain't it, Chief. Hell no, this ain't gonna be like it. This is a fox fur pile with viscose lining and button front closure. No Supreme branding, so it's not gonna be it. Because there is, most of the time during week one of every season, there is a hidden, like, jacket, like, fox fur jacket. Then it's that other black jacket that has Supreme branding on the back. I forgot the exact name of it. That shit highest bid on StockX, $12,000. Retail, three fifty eight. dollars Yo, you're, you can pay off your debt with that shit. Wild, wild to me, but that's how it be sometimes. Sleeper items are worth it because they keep supply hella low on them. Then that brings us to the Shearer hooded sweatshirt, dropping three different colorways. Supreme, I don't know what you're trying to do with these like designs of like, w first we got like the drill, we got a drill, and now we got the shears. What's next, bro? Hammers? What are we gonna do, some hammers like FTP? Hold up, hold up, you know, they about to take inspiration from FTP, yo, don't worry. Thanks. But yeah, as you saw, they're taking inspiration from whole different types of stuff. I don't know why they decided to do shears, but you know, it's supreme. They do what they want, and it's going to sell eventually out of their inventory. Then the mohair cardigan. I don't know why people are actually hyped about this. Blows my mind. I don't know if they're trying to be like low-key hipster or some shit, but $188 retail for this cardigan. Just ain't it either. Then that Hanes collab. Yo, that limited edition Hanes collab, the fastest to sell out. We got the two-pack 
the leopard print tees for $28. The land Letta and the Swan skateboard, not worth it either. Wacky ass design, but they are making the box logo sticker of this week based on this design. Uh, $49 retail on the skate dicks is actually much less than it used to be. It used to be like $64 for the illegal business ones. I'm surprised it's this cheap. You know, that means more people are going to want it. But then that brings us to the Formula Sweatpants, which I you know your boy is definitely copping. Hopefully, hopefully if it goes okay at DSM, which also this year is tax. I do have to pay tax. I am from Jersey, if you guys don't know. Uh, tax is going to be an issue. 150, ooh, what? 158? Damn, I was thinking it would be like around the $128 mark, but these are the $148, $158 Formula Sweatpants that matches the Formula shirt. The crew neck that I definitely, definitely, definitely need. As soon as I saw it in the lookbook, I was like, yo, this full fit coming crazy. Uh, cotton fleece, I do expect this to be pretty hyped. I would definitely recommend going for the, the full fit if you guys are interested in it. Uh, Resale wise on the pants won't be as much as the top, but it will definitely be there. Let on the Swan T, $38 retail, not worth it that much either. Weird ass design. Remember, a lot of kids that do buy Supreme are not going to have their parents allow them to wear this. Make sure you keep that in mind. So that brings us to the leather varsity jacket for $698. A lot of people, a lot of bullshitters out there are saying, yo, this is going to be worth crazy money. It will be worth a little bit over retail because they are going to keep supply limited on this jacket. But three different colorways. This is like exactly some shit my dad would be rocking. This leather jacket with the Supreme all over the back. Reminds me of like 1995 era, like that era where like leather shit was the shit. Uh, but depending on the size and the color, you may, you may be able to make a good amount of money. However, I don't see it going up like the Fox Fur. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong on this one. But I don't think I am. It could be like the Fox Fur jacket, a big sleeper item that no one really focused on, but it ended up selling quick. We got the front tee with the grill. And they're making a keychain out of this as well. $38 retail. Spotlight keychain, $24 retail. Not really worth it that much either. It was kind of one of the ones that were added onto the lookbook at the end. Fruit skateboard, $49 retail. Not really worth it either. The Apple Hooded Sweatshirt. Now, this is a definitely an item worth it. This is a classic, classic logo, bro. This is from 1998, 1999, around the era. One of the first, one of the first few graphics that Supreme has actually done, and it sold out. But a lot of archives people, like people who have Supreme in the archives, do actually have this piece, and it's cool that they're bringing it back. I would definitely say Heather Gray is the best color to go for on this piece. Sick design. Even if it doesn't have that much, I'm almost certain it will have resale, especially during week zero. As soon as it drops. Oh, the real shit. Long sleeve tee. $4 retail. I was sleeping on long sleeve tees. Then I saw this one as I was like fixing the images. And I was like, yo, this shit's sick. I would definitely, I'm definitely thinking about copying this. Especially for what, $40? Not that bad of a price. And the logo is actually nice. The backing, I don't really understand what's on the back graphic. But the front graphic is definitely a heater. It kind of reminds me of the other long sleeve they dropped uh, last season. Which does, ha that had like the tech box logo, I guess you could call on it as well that did reach pretty good amount of money and it's actually going up it's like at the $90 range so it'll be cool to see this probably I expect to go to around $100 first week all right guys so as I was saying before my camera cut off I apologize we got the real shit long sleeve top I already went over that it was pretty sick I would definitely recommend it for the personal maybe a little bit on the resale market as well we got the red run baseball jersey $148 retail I could see the cream colorway going for a hell of money just because it's the one of the first items that leaked out dope ass dope ass piece like the corduroy jerseys though i wish it was corduroy they'd be going for crazy crazy money and at first i thought it was the gucci colorways on the cream which would have went wild however it's unfortunately not then we got the duffel bags which i would stay away from i do not recommend going for duffel bags this season just not really that dope and like the branding is kind of like regular regular action it's 158 dollars retail and duffel bags women don't ever do well then we got the fruit tea. I don't recommend going for that for recently either. It's $38. And the knot tea as well is $38. However, my bad about moving over. They are both $38, but the fruit tea, not really that much Supreme branding. It's What's dope though is that on the banana, like on the sticker, it does have a Supreme uh, little box logo on it instead of like the actual brand name of the bananas. It's dope, but like the knot tea, a lot of people do like surprisingly. I don't really am not a fan of it myself, but it's dope to see, especially in the natural colorway. Don't worry, I'll go over all the colorways at the end of this video as well. We got the over dyed beanie for $32. Definitely a cent, bro. I'd send this $32 retail. This is the best quality beanies that Supreme makes, at least from what I felt in person. Especially this tie-dye, it's kind of cool. The, uh, it's coming from a different energy, but you got red bogos. I don't think I recommend going for the black one. The white one does have the red on white, so it does stand out hella nice. I have a lot of females could probably rock it. The pink tie-dye, a lot of females could rock it as well. Or males, you know, no judging. This is a judgment-free zone. But the free gift is also a shower cap. Cap.
It's just free. It comes in every order you place online. Almost every order you place online or in store. No matter how much you spend, though, you're most likely only going to get one shower cap. It doesn't go by how much you spend. Backpacks, I would kind of stay away from. Go for a red colorway. $158 retail. Uh, shoulder bags, definitely send that $88 retail. Red colorway, what I would uh, recommend as well. And the black one, teal and green, maybe save that for later if they don't have it in store. I would cop the green, the blue and green, if there's they don't have the red and black in store left. But if they do, definitely send those two. Metal lighter holster, holster, I don't see a need for this at all. You can just simple put a lighter in your pocket. I mean, it, you do lose lighters a lot, but keeping it in this holster looks kind of like corny. It has, it has a nice Supreme branding on it as well. I might end up just copping it just because I'm in store for it. $30 retail is not that much either. Uh, and then we got the Chanel hooded sweatshirt, $158 retail. This brand reminds me of like what Sports Illustrated does in their font, like on the titles of their magazines. Kind of similar to that. $158 retail as well is pretty hype, but this reminds me of the Collegiate hooded sweatshirt that dropped exactly a year ago as well. It was doing hella good numbers, and then it just dropped down and resell. So remember, if you guys are going week zero in store, I would try to sell your stuff ASAP because prices will drop because supply will go up as well. Demand will go down. Uh, so just try to do that as soon as possible. Don't rush it though. But of course, you know, just stay tuned to retail resale estimations updated for week uh, one online. And you guys will know best what to do. We got the bonded logo puffy jacket. $340 retail. I don't really see the hype behind this. There is dope, like Supreme Running is all over it, but it's not seen as well. It's a nice loud jacket. It's water resistant poly taffeta with bonded logo pattern, down filling and lining a full zip up closure and all that so dropping in four colorways black red green and blue i would recommend going with the blue colorway the red one black two green i would kind of stay away from two these do match the backpacks and all bags perfectly so watch out for this fit on instagram as well i'm telling you this is the c this is the year of influencers too we got the dish towels next set of three 38 dollar retail i am definitely sending these 1000 percent just because why not when i get my own place hopefully I'll be able to put these and actually use them. The $38 retail, which is not bad for dish... Actually, it is kind of bad for dish towels. They normally are a bit cheaper, which is cool to see. But, uh, you know, it is supreme. Then we got the Christopher Walken King of New York tee, which is a definite cop. At least for me, it definitely is. Uh, it would be cool to see this as a New York-only exclusive. However, it's not. It is going to be retailing for $30, $48 retail. A little bit more because it is like a collaboration almost. But it's it's a bigger graphic. And we got the Creeper tee, which looks identical to a t-shirt I found in Supreme at Beast. If you guys remember when I lit that store on fire. Low key with fake gasoline. It was, she was mad funny. It reminds me exactly something I find at Supreme at Beast. Just the design of it. Then we got the waist bag for $88 retail. Dropping in four different colorways. The same ones. Definitely go for red and black. Is the top two colorways to go for. Shadow tee. Not really a fan of it. It does have a lot of upvotes. A lot of people do like it, but it's embroidered. It's dope. Like, that's the dope part about it. But it is $88 retail. So that's also something very important to keep in mind. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we come on to the last four pieces from this week. I know I rushed it. I apologize. I did talk a bit fast because I did want to get through it. I don't want to make this video too lengthy. We got the Formula Crew Neck Definite Cop. $138 retail. Cheaper than the pants. I definitely need the, the cream colorway. If I don't cop this, I'm going to be so pissed. Especially at DSM, I never end up walking away with what I want. So hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this time will be different. And of course, DM me if you guys are going in store. I do definitely want to see you guys make a vlog. I'm making a whole big video of it. So make sure you let me know. It's dope to put you guys. You don't have to show your face because some people don't want to. But it'd be dope to just see the items you pick up. Then we got the SIGG SIG water bottle. One liter. Last year's was a 0.5. I think I have it. No smoking. The 0.5 liter. This is a little bit bigger, double the size. Branding is very minimal as well. I think it's, yeah, it is aluminum BPA free. Branding is pretty simple. It is embossed into the colorways. So, you know, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna be, I mean, this one is basically a brick too. So, I don't know. This will go for a lot of money though, week zero. It will go for almost double. But, you know, then we go on to the Master Lock Numeric Combination Lock. And this will be going for around $80, I predict. Metal with nickel plated steel shackle and four dial combination. It's been hyped forever. It's one of the first items to actually leak out. Red colorway is the best one to go for as well. Four different digits to put in. And that's definitely a cop. But, ladies and gentlemen, the last item that you definitely need a cop if you're going in store. Oh, shit, I forgot. DSM might not have skate decks. Yo, if DSM doesn't have skate decks, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, my God. The airbrushed floral skateboard decks. You have to cop this, bro. $49 retail. One of the best designs they've come out with lately. This looks like a classic. Bro, I remember Skull Pile Decks were going for $250 week zero. So I would try to sell this one in the beginning. Now Skull Pile Decks are going for like $100, maybe even less. 
But yeah, so I predict the skate decks will go for $200, the airbrush floral ones, numeric lock, $80. Water bottle will be going for around $90. Formula crew neck will be going for around $250, depending on size and color. Of course, everyone knows small is the best size to go for. Also, one that they most likely will not have in stock. Shattered tee go for a black or white colorway, $88 retail. I, I'm honestly staying away from this t shirt, but waist bag is something I'm definitely getting. I expect to go to $150. Black and red, best colorway. Creeper tee, I expect it to go to around the $80 mark. It is dropping a multitude of colorways. Uh, I would definitely recommend the white one, white colorway, which is I'm going to be going for the King of New York. Definitely send that black colorway, all-time classic, safe color. I'd expect that to go from $80. Dish towels, maybe $60-ish. Puffy jacket could be a hit or miss. I would stay away unless you're trying to risk it. And if you are willing to put it for the personal. Chanel hooded sweatshirt, I do expect to go for $250, depending on size and color. XL is also a great size to go for if you are in store. The metal lighter holster, I expect to go to around like $50, nothing much. Shoulder bags will go to $150 as well, $88 retail. Black and red, best to go for. Backpacks, ah, stay away from That's what I'm doing, and that's the rest of it I pretty much talked about. So different colors that they will be releasing in t-shirts is Woodland Camo, Heather Gray, Royal, Neon Orange, Black, Navy, Red, White. There will also be, there, not all t-shirts will be the same colorways, there will be different ones, and Supreme will be sending these out the ass. These t-shirts will be coming out the ass for Supreme. Uh, there will also be a red colorway, but Woodland Camo is popping. They haven't really done that ever on regular ass tees, so it'll be interesting to see. So, I do apologize for talking fast. I know a lot of you are going to be complaining out there, but I hope you guys took this information. Be smart about it. Best item to go for a formula fit, definitely send that. The skate decks, accessories, of course. And then bags. Bags are always a safe investment because, you know, I still got the shoulder bags from a year ago as well. And they're going up in price. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck. Please send me a DM or message me on Discord. If you are going in-store, I do want to definitely get you in the video. So, that's about it. It's no one here in Jersey. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with the vlog. And I'll catch you guys then. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.